Howdy do, and welcome back to Minecraft, in which case we just found Diamond for the first time, basically, in my experience, but also in this playthrough by Episode 5. We did it, we found a buried treasure map, it was great, and when we left off, I made a diamond pickaxe, and what I decided to do was end it there. I did do a few things since that episode, and that was basically, I went to the other ship that was nearby, and I went to this nearby temple that we kind of saw in the last episode, and I found some buried treasure maps in there as well. And the reason I kind of did that was just because I, I've noticed in these episodes so far, they've been taking me a long time to kind of get through certain things. Unless I decided to chop it down and edit it out. So I figured I'd just do it and then we could find the treasure together on the episode. And that would be pretty cool. But in the meantime, what we're going to try and do today is actually find a place to set up a house. So let's get into that let me just make sure that the music is up again this time and also as usual i am playing as a monokuma skin made by horror gamer gal g-a-l it's a free skin but nonetheless credit where credit is due it's it's pretty cool so yeah looking at this i made a chest i went to the nearby got some wood made a chest to put all this in in case i do die hopefully we don't but i believe this is the one that we've already found right let's see yeah, this is the one we already found. So if we actually, I don't know if we're supposed to really get rid of of stuff. There's all the other stuff I got rid of is at the moment. But we did find three more uh, treasure chests. This is all the stuff we found in the last episodes, though. So you've you've seen this stuff already. This is not this part's not new. But uh, what I'm debating is I should probably really just let the sun set. I think I got an iron sword. Oh yeah, that's right. I have an iron sword. This will be. Maybe we'll find one at a time because I don't have a huge inventory and if I find a lot of useful stuff uh, That would be that'd be a mess This looks like it's in the same spot. We just were at in the last episode. Yeah, I really ought to wait for that to, to set So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna sit and wait for the Sun to set sleep make it morning again And we'll see y'all in a second Or I can just fill the time I'll fill the time a little bit because one of the things is like well, you, you started playing Minecraft, like all the cool people are. You, how long are you going to do it? Why are you doing it, etc. We kind of mentioned that every little bit, right? Like, I used to play Minecraft, but I played the creative mode. Because, that, like I said, going to school for engineering and stuff, I used Minecraft's creative mode. Kind of did a design stuff and build some stuff that already existed or that I just thought of. I never really gave the survival mode a try. And I figured now is as good a chime as ever when literally everyone's playing it. So it's like, yeah. Something that I did do. Let's Let's do the survival mode, though. Alrighty. How long? I'm not sure. I know I want to go until we at least set up a house. I know at least that much I want to do. So, beyond that, we're going to have to see. Now, I remember how these work. These work that you got to keep... Whoa, whoa, where's my... Yeah, hold on. The map wasn't showing. It freaked me out. You do have to travel. And you just got to keep traveling until the map starts showing you the land. So if you don't know how to use a treasure map, basically it kind of looks scuffed like this. You gotta go in a direction until land starts forming on the map, and then you use the map to kind of narrow down where exactly that treasure is. So like right now it's just super scuffed, but as you see it's slowly forming as we go. You just keep rowing. I do wonder though, if we found three maps all in the same area, is it actually all pointing me to the same treasure and this is all a waste of time? I would not be surprised, actually. Um, what? In Tar Nation was that. Treasure is always buried in like sand or gravel too. So if we think we're close, we need to start looking for sand and gravel. Or otherwise we won't actually be close. I, like, I, it feels like this, this map is taking me directly back to where we were over here already. Seriously? Like the, the map... This is not... This isn't new. Wait. Wait, this is, this is literally, yeah, okay, well, uh, yeah, boop, thank you, uh, what I was thinking about setting up shop for a house, I mentioned a couple of things, like, what if we set up, uh, let's say that we built the Space Needle, right, in the Puget Sound, Seattle, Washington, the Space Needle, the tower, because here's the thing, and this isn't to be mean or throw shade, so if it comes across that way, I apologize, but every time someone builds the Space Needle, you can tell the people who have never actually been to the Space Needle by how they build the bottom of the Space Needle. The bottom of the Space Needle is not a tripod. Like, there was this movie, it was an earthquake movie, it was like 10.0 or something like that, it came out a while ago, 
and they even made this mistake as an actual movie that was actually produced in like the theaters and like Hollywood and stuff. The bottom of the Space Needle is actually two stories of a building, and the rest of the Space Needle comes up out of it. So you do see those tripod like legs, I guess, eventually, but the bottom is actually like a whole area you can go inside of and stuff, and it's not actually just all tripod with elevators in the center of it. And you can Google image it too. Like it's not it's not too terribly hard to find actually what I'm saying. Oh wait, this one leads to that, that spot and this one leads to that spot. So all these maps actually, all these maps we've been hoodwinked. No, I don't like that noise. Don't need that noise in my life. We'll get rid of you then, we'll get rid of you then, and we'll get rid of you then. And cool, we're gonna go back get the rest of our stuff because we have enough space. And we're gonna get the heck on on our way. We found a savanna. Still haven't found any lions roaring in the morning sun, so that's a little bit disappointing. But, point is, I, I thought about building the Space Needle because I was like, yeah, I could actually build the Space Needle. I don't want to say correctly because for the most part, like, that's the only thing that I see consistently done, though, is people like, the bottom of the Space Needle, it's just tripod. It's like, it's not a tripod, actually. It's deceptive because most of the shots you see of the Space Needle and the news and stuff even, wouldn't you wouldn't know that. Uh, until you actually go to the Space Needle physically, but yeah, the bottom of the, and like I said, you can Google it too, but like, the, the bottom of the Space Needle is not a tripod. It's the first two stories are all like storefront and stuff, and then you go up a little bit, there's more store stuff you can see from an observation deck about like, I want to say like a fourth of the way up, and then it's like lot, lots of tripod in the saucer section at the top though. So it's not like it's horribly wrong, and that's what I mean, it's not, this isn't a call out or anything like that, so I hope it doesn't come across like that. Yeah, give me my boat. No, 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 no. Give me my boat. There we go. Yeah, so let's go gather up all of our stuff. We can fit it because I went made sure we could fit all this. And I remembered, if you press the shift key, you can just click on stuff and instantly put it on your inventory. Instead of doing what I was doing for the past several episodes of dragging each individual thing into my inventory one by one. And then I have enough space to get the bed. I have enough space to get the chest, which is now empty. I can take the furnace, but I need a pickaxe to do that. We learned that the hard way in episode two. Thank you, Windows, uh, for that. Now I can I can just break this with my bare hands, so I'll do that. And now we have everything. We can even take the torches with us. I'm gonna take the torches with us because once we get to a place where we can set up shop, the last thing we want to do is like put our bed down, roll over when we're trying to take a nice nice nap or just sleep just in general and we look over and there's a skeleton with a bow and arrow like hey what's up i got this arrow with your name on it and i'm like i'm pretty sure there's no name on the arrow whatsoever you're trying to be funny and it just fell flat there we go that is all of them even if it's not we got enough that we can at least put the bed down put torches around the bed and survive let me get in the boat so we are going to i believe this is north we are facing, well, north by northwest. Speaking of northwest and Washington and the Space Needle, right? So anyways, yeah. That's just a couple of things I, I thought about and talked about and stuff like that. Not super important, but uh, I was thinking about maybe doing that. Then I got another idea. An idea for those of you who used to, that came from this channel, that used to watch my Minecraft stuff way back then. You'll remember that when I was building the first Space Colony Arc... I built it in the world where I built several other things like the Spagonia Clock Tower from Sonic Unleashed and I put that next to Big Ben, or I guess it's called Elizabeth Tower, but I know a lot of people that just call it Big Ben, the uh, Clock Tower in London. And I built what was called Hayes Tech Tower, which was my own original tower idea that I thought of and made and it was cool and I lost it and I want to actually build it. So I think that's what I'm actually going to build as our I kind of because we were gonna build like a, a mansion or something. This is the USG after all, the United States of G. I was like, okay, well, what do you think of when you think of you know America and like living and like rich and stuff? You think of a mansion, a Bel Air mansion. Well, I could just build a tower instead. We just found a desert, actually. That's kind of funny because I think Jack, when he was playing this game, it took him an eternity to find a desert because he wanted he wanted to find cactus to make green dye for the Irish flag. And here we go. I just found a cactus. It's just right here. What's up, desert? This is like a cave in this. Why is this not collapsing? This is sand. This is not like this should be holding up. I get it. This is more solid. This is either limestone or it's like just hard sand. This is this should be collapsing in on itself. And we've already found a temple out made of sand. So I don't know. Maybe we're not setting up shop here. 
this particular episode because I don't. What do we do? Like Sandopolis from like the classic Sonic games, and put a tower here. Where are the coordinates? I kind of want to come back here at some point. Negative fifteen ninety nine by negative twenty seven twenty four. That'd be cool to come back and visit. Whoa, that is way too shapely to not at least be some sort of temple or something up in there. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I always get sidetracked like this, and it's always terrible. Do I have auto jump on? I probably have auto jump on. I probably honestly do. Oh my goodness. We have definitely found something. Hang on. One one moment. Okay. So, uh boy, that's like a whole entire fortress. And considering the sun setting, I do need to find cover for the evening. I think we're going to use this uh, sand fortress. Maybe that ends up being the whole adventure. We never actually really get to build the tower. Instead, we get to just sleep in around as we like explore the world. We go like around the whole world in 80 days. Maybe this isn't a fortress, but it like it looks kind of fortress-like because a lot of the square shapes and stuff. This probably isn't an entrance. But if I can get to the top of it, I can it's still, like I said, use it for like a, a home at least for tonight. To keep the creepers away. I don't know if they like sand. Do they like getting sand in their shoes? Do they even wear shoes? No? Okay. Oh, that's a lot more desert. Oh, there's actually a lot of flat land back here. But yeah, I want the high ground. Like we like we said, Obi-Wan taught us one thing. If, if it's your Obi-Wan Kenobi specifically, you want the high ground. Oh, look, bunny rabbits. Where are you hopping off to? Where are you going? What are you doing? Where are you going? What are you doing? Where are you going? I can hop too. Just not off this cliff. Dang, I just I just said not to hop off the cliff. Why are you guys hard-headed? It's like the cat. You just run away from me all the time, and then when I give you good advice, it's like, ah, forget you. I want to be my own. Don't you dare. Please don't you dare. I can't feed you fish to heal you back up or something. I don't think you eat fish. I think you eat carrots. I have carrots, don't I? No, I have gold. What? Where'd you go? Ninja vanish. All right, gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. I'm going to sleep up here, we're going to pass the evening, and we're just going to press on. Maybe like, like I'm saying, maybe it's a sightseeing adventure. That's what our adventure ends up being, is just sightseeing. We don't actually like, I don't know. That could be cool, because there's like a lot of biomes and stuff to see. So maybe we want to do that when we get to that point, is I guess what I'm saying. The hills really aren't alive with the sound of music, are they? Like, I was told that's how they operate. Well, here's a desert crossing paths with a plane and a savanna. There's like a junction point. Can I get down there safe? I got up here. I had the brain to get up here. I better have the brain to get down here because I want to see what's at the crossroads of like three different biomes basically at one place. And also like what, what kind of biome I guess we're going to try and set up in. I kind of want to set up near the water if I'm honest because water is a bit easier to defend from creepers because they can't spawn in the water. Nor are they usually very fast in the water. But... I was about to sneeze. That was the weirdest feeling ever. Like, right as I was going to swallow, I was like, here's a sneeze. And then it didn't happen. And then the swallow didn't happen. And that's TMI. But, ow. Oh, well, the hills have music. I hear the music coming. What are you? What is this guy over here? Look at him. He's like a mini... Like a mini... Oh, he's hostile. He's hostile. And he is fast. Alright, here we go. Why aren't you burning... In the sunlight. Wait, the sun is up. You're not wearing armor. I've seen that, and I don't like that, that the fact that can happen. Alright, rotten flesh. I wonder if that's still a thing. Can you still cook rotten flesh to make leather? So if you don't have cows, but you want to make books, you can still... Oh, this is at the junction, huh? A giant crack o death. I don't want it. I'm not a part of this life. Just go over. All right. Well, now I've crossed it, and we're not dead. That's actually interesting. I didn't know they could intersect like this. They're like, look at this. This is a, just an intersection of three. Oh, and another death, death, just drop of death. Gotcha. This could be nice, though. It's either water or I want the high ground. I don't really need to eat yet, so I'm not going to eat just yet. Where did you come out of this? Alright, as long as it's not a death drop. 
Or do I? Because I kind of want flat ground. And this is a lot of flat ground as an example. But, like, I want to be able to make a lot of flat area around me, too. Like, I have ideas for what I want to do. And so I don't think we're going to find, like, the most perfect place to set up shop. But I still want to explore, like, at least a little bit longer. Give me a little longer. Is this more savanna? So they stuck a plane in between the savanna. Okay. I feel I feel I feel so gross this episode because I was I was fine I hit a, I hit record and it's like suddenly so my nose itches a bunch and I don't really want to scratch that a bunch my nose is trying to run my eyes are trying to water and I'm like what happened what did I get an allergic reaction to doing my job <laughs> I hope not that being said I say with that being said a lot. Because honestly, it's like, just keep conversating. All you gotta really do, just keep conversating. Conversate to your heart's content. You can always edit it down and chop it down later, but if you have a hard time doing this, just find conversation talking points and make stuff up if you have to, like we did with the cat, and just see where it goes from there. The game does have music, though. It's kind of helping me out in that aspect. We're not finding a lot of daytime creepers. I am not complaining. We're definitely going west now. I was going north. I, I'm, I started going west on purpose now. So, yeah. What do we want to do? Because it's all about mining, too. Like, when I've had some of the ideas in the past... It's like, well, how well can you mine stuff if you do that? We're going back in the boat. I want the boat back. Uh, how, how, what's like the reliable stuff you can find? And then you can always upgrade it later. I think that's why a lot of people start out with like a cobblestone and stuff like that. That's a very easy resource to find and find a lot of. So when you have an idea and you just want to get this, wow. You just want to get the structure for it. It's, it's something you can at least build for a bit. And you can always go back and upgrade later if you find something cooler and an abundance of it. Or even just bit by bit. Like, as you go along. Unlike this boat, which just, just got stuck. And it was like, hey, I don't want to go anywhere. And like, I'm like, you know what? Me too, when I wake up in the morning. But we got we got to do stuff sometimes. Oh, is this the end of the water? No, it's like it continues, but like right there. Forcing me to have to get out again. Just to do this. Boop, boop. So I can then go put you... Nah, actually, no, that would have been a waste. Because you're just like a shallow pool. You, however, looks like you get... Nope, you're a shallow pool also. You also are shallow. Where's the ocean? I know we're near the ocean. <gasps> we're also near another pirate ship. Maybe this is a, a treasure hunting episode after all, y'all. I was going to say yar and, and y'all. I said yarl. Yarl. What's up, y'all? Which way do these open? Like this? Okay, so I can actually swap. I can shoot a dupe up under here if I just open all these first, right? Hold on. And if I close you, this is like a staircase. Oh, no, the treasure's on that side? Or is there two treasure chests? Because there might be a treasure on this side. Yeah, there is. Can I get to that one from here without much uh, effort? Not really. I can go back here, though. Ah, there's no holes. This is what I mean. Like, it takes me a while to get in here. So when we get to these points, I'm probably just going to chop them up and edit them down so you guys don't have to watch throughout this whole thing. I feel like that would be the better thing to do, right? Like, it, it, it just would be... Where's the surface? Is it in here? Oh, I can just go right here, huh? How come I can... Okay. That's, that's the kind of games they want to play. I'm not usually playing these games, but they're usually playing these games, so I'm going to have to play these games now. Wait, where's the surface? Let me surface. It wasn't letting me surface for a second. That was terrifying. There we go. Now that you're broken... Let me just... Okay. Another buried treasure map. That worked out well for us last time. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think we really need any of that. Maybe we do, and I'm an idiot. But, uh, we're just going to keep it going. Because, like I said, we always take so much time on these boats. So, I'm trying to, like, get in there. And, again, because I don't have a home base, I'm not being super risky or super forceful. Because I just really don't want to die and lose any of this. What the heck are those? Oh, snap. Hello. 
And who might y'all be? Well, hang on. Hang on. Those are people. Those are people. I'm pretty sure those are people. And maybe they want to trade something. Maybe, like, you know, an entire house. An entire functioning house. Where'd they go? Hello, people. Is that a crossbow? You know, maybe... These are pillagers, aren't they? I've heard of stories of y'all. And I could actually beat you all. I have an iron sword specifically to whoop y'all's narrow behind. Because I've heard of the stories of y'all, what you do. I don't like it. Not a huge fan. I really don't want to die though right now. I, I Like, I really don't. I know... I know we could maybe come to a peaceful agreement. Oh, oh, you're all drawn weapons. All right. I, I guess I have my weapon out. I guess I drew first. So it's, it's, I'm actually instigating. I'm the problem. So I need to be the change in the world that I'd like to see. And you guys are squinting now. You don't care. I, I, you know what? I'm out. I see it. I want to be the better person and grow as a person. So we're just going to, yeah. See, see y'all later. Uh, mm, didn't like that. Didn't like that at all. And I don't think they liked me either. Granted, I gave them a chance. I think they didn't like me from the start. That's kind of hurtful. <laughs> kind of hurtful. Anyways, uh, let's see. The sun is setting. The sun is getting real low, big guy. Another ship. I think we have enough time to search this ship before the sun sets. And again, make this a pirate-themed episode. Yarl. Yarl. That just sounds so bad. Oh, I heard water zombies spawning behind me. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Sounds like R2-D2. Oh, there's a chest right there. I'm going to park my boat. We're going to park the boat. I'm going to get out. I'm going to put the bed down because we're going to bed soon. Anyways. We're just going to mosey on over here. Shouldn't be that hard. We are getting kind of hungry. I need to be aware of that a bit more. Wait, why can't I? Oh. Because y'all being difficult. Oh, always will find a way to be difficult, huh? Let's see. Oh, that's enchanted. It's protection. Sure. Get some wheat. Actually, if we're going to take that wheat, we might as well take the other wheat, right? Here we go. And now we are to sleep. I'm going to eat. I am going to eat the fish, though. I am going to... Let's get us back up to full health, because why not? Just on the off chance I accidentally fall off a cliff the wrong way or something. If we're at full health, maybe we survive with half a heart, and then we get sniped by the dude with the crossbow, mean mugging us. The oh no, I, I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that. Nope, nope, you don't get, you don't get the pleasure. I don't think I want to set up in desert. Like, if this was all flat land, like plains... I think I would set up here. <gasps> oh, man. Treasure always baiting me when it shouldn't be. But I just noticed that because it is a desert. And so I keep my eye out for him. I saw a temple. I saw a temple. And, like, we we, we have to. We have to. I just got to put all the important stuff down that I don't want to lose. Which is, you know, everything. But. Dang it. Okay. So, actually, let's get this stuff out first. Because if we do that... Then we're good. Uh, we'll put you there and we'll put you there. And now we'll put, you know, the heart, the diamond, the gold, the iron, the enchanted stuff, the pickaxe, the pickaxe. That's right. We have a buried treasure map that I already have forgotten that we gotten that I probably want to check to see where it goes to. Probably would be a good idea. There. That's all the stuff I fear to lose. Now let's go. I see it, and I want to be in it. Let's see if there's any creepers around, though. Like, isn't there a thing where you could actually find Endermen in the desert? Like, that's a popular place they could be in. Not a guarantee, but, like, I, we fought an Endermen, but we, we tried to be their friend. I tried my hardest to friend them first. They didn't want to be friends. I understand, but uh, I don't think I'm equipped to fight an Enderman right now. We are near water, and as we saw, they don't like water. So as long as we stay near the water, we'll be fine. I I think. I don't know. They sometimes they see you from like a mile away looking at them by accident and it's it's a mess. But yeah, let's 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 give this a shot. Oh wait, is this already Oh no, I don't like that. I don't I 
I want to wait down. Okay, this might be an entrance. This could be full of nothing. I'm, I'm totally aware of that could be a possible. Oh, we got to break into this one, I guess. We really got to break into this one because I don't. I think it's submerged. Oh, no, never mind. I'm just trying to be difficult because I don't know. All right, then. Same as usual. Same as last time. Do I want to use a pickaxe on this one, y'all? Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll use a pickaxe for this because I want to get through this quickly. I don't know if using sand will be a good idea because I don't know if sand falling on the pressure plate will activate the pressure plate, though. That is my fear. That is my fear, which means we got to put the sand in the corner anyways, but still. I need to go get some more, like, terracotta and stuff, actually, to dig down into this with because that is a bit more solid of a block, and then we won't blow ourselves up. Would it be funny for the video to blow ourselves up? Yeah. But it'd also be better if it was more genuine. And I know that's a thing. So I'm not going to just do it just because it'd be, oh, that'd be funny. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, that'd be uh, hilarious. Blow up. Ha -ha. Right? I'm, that's not the type of person I am. Totally not. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Because we got to be able to make sure we can get back up once we get down. Oh, boy. Well, we almost just blew it anyways. Pun intended. Uh, boop. How low do we got to go before we actually are in ranged to touch touch the chest? I think we're low enough for these ones now. Uh, ooh, a golden apple. I've heard good things about golden apples. I don't know. I actually want rotten flesh. I do because if it's, if it's, there's spider eyes. Was there like a spider up in here and I can't see it yet? Not happy about that prospect. All right, come on, come on. Ooh, enchanted books. Book of Vanishing, Cursed Book of Binding. And we're out, we're out, we're out. That's too many spider eyes. That gives me the implication either they've died in here or they've been in here and they're the ones killing stuff. And I don't want to be a part of that then. Um, hello, how did I come in here? How'd I, how'd I get in here? Oh, this. I went too far. All right. We are good to leave and never come back. So maybe this is this ended up being the treasure episode because we just kept finding treasure everywhere. Literally everywhere. Everywhere there's treasure. Maybe that's the life lesson here too is that there's actually a lot of treasure all around you if you're willing to look. And also depending on how much things bother you or not because that that probably is a little bit of an indication at least about you know what is good and what isn't in your life at the moment right like I, I can't how much room do we have to carry stuff not a lot actually we can't carry all this anymore so, ooh, that's not good we can put you in there though but like we can't get all this out we don't have the inventory space but we don't need those like all this extra limestone and stuff or sandstone why did I've been saying limestone this whole episode and I'm I'm dumb. Okay, we can get rid of you. I'm pretty sure we won't use you. I need room for the bed and all four of these. So I need four extra spaces too. Uh, let's see. What don't we absolutely really, 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 really need? Uh, uh, I guess we maybe don't really need these as well. I mean, we might, but I feel like I can get them again. Um, it's not the end of the world. So there's that. And uh, yeah, let's let's just uh, load up on stuff we really don't need, really do need, and be on our way. There we go. Now we can go boop. We can we can bloop when we do. Oh, the pillagers followed me? They followed me. Okay, here's 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 I'm gonna risk. I take it all back. I take it all back. They want beef is what they're indicating by being here. They want a good, just clean, classic old beat down. And if they want a beat down, I got an iron sword. Hey, it has your old names on it. I'm not down for this. You followed me here, foolishness. So you want to fight? Let's fight. Come on, let's fight. Let's go. What you got? What you got? Poor aim. I bet you do. Come on, shoot. Shoot. Hit me. Man, y'all, y'all actually kind of bad. 
I was I was concerned because you followed me from all the way over there. I was like, oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be trouble. Y'all ain't trouble. Y'all just trash. Maybe they're not gonna shoot. Oh, oh, like I said, trash. Oh, never mind. You actually got a good hit in. Because I imagine getting shot by a crossbow is never actually. Oh, okay. You got two good hits in. The water was a bad idea. The water was a bad idea. I was talking all that good, good, and then I just got shot in my chest. Okay. Okay. Put on the music. We're going in. I'm not about to. I'm trying to make him come on land. If you want to fight, like, come on land, though. I don't get why they weren't on land, though. Lando, Calrissian. Yeah, there you go. Get up here. Get up here. Because I got an idea to deal with crossbows. I got an idea to deal with crossbows. Oh, you are kind of fast. You are actually kind of fast. I don't like the speed. I didn't think I was fighting Sonic the Hedgehog with a crossbow. Okay, well, if I'm taking damage anyways. Just use one of you as a shield in front of the other one. Why am I not hitting any of them, actually? I might die here, y'all. This might be it. Yeah. Wait, where did I respawn at? You've got to be kidding me. My home bed was missing or obstructed? Okay. Here's the thing. Here's the, here's the thing. Um, I'm... No. 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 No way. No way. I mean, it's my fault. I got an ego. My ego kicks in eventually. I, I only get pushed so far, and then eventually it's go time. I didn't really need to take that fight and start that beef. But, like, I don't know. I felt like they were going to chase me to the ends of the earth, and so I was like, I, I, felt, I felt attacked. And so here's my problem. I can't even make that without another crafting. Oh, my goodness. Looks like we're living here for the night because I, I know how to get back to my stuff because I took down the coordinates, but I, I just don't. I'm too lazy to go after it right now. I'm, I'm too lazy to go after it right now. Oh, I can't believe they actually killed me. I can't believe they've done this. I'm more happy that I... What am I doing? I'm not paying attention, that's what. I'm more happy that I at least put my stuff in that chest, though, because I've, if they're going to take all this stuff that I dropped, I only dropped what... Uh, not much of anything, right? That's why I put all that stuff in that chest so that that would happen. You're right there, Golem, because you don't seem that all right. Here I was worried about phantoms and creepers. What I should have been worried about is the pillagers, as everyone should be worried about. But here's the thing. I'm about to come back and clap them, so I, it's no problem to me. The only thing I, I guess I will check since I'm all the way back here is this Dagon cat, and if this thing left the other cave, or is it still in there? I mean, I, I feel like I might as well, it's like a running theme and joke and stuff with the channel right now anyways. I might as well at least take a peek if the thing actually came out the cave yet, or is it still up in there? Because I'm not going in there after it now, especially that I got, see what I mean? I took fall damage right there, and it could have been the, the death. Yep, look at all that, that's still wept up over there. Nothing's getting out of there, but what about this one? You still in there? Probably. I ain't checking. See you later. <laughs> well, if this is water, how far does this water go? How far does this water go? Because if you don't think I'm coming back for my stuff, you are sorely mistaken. I'm about to come back with a stronger sword, and we're just going to clap all of them. There is some nice music I could have used in fighting the pillagers to keep me calm. Keep me from fighting them in the first place, maybe. I know how to get back to where I was, which is why I haven't used the coordinates just yet. But at the same time, like... I'm so mad at myself. Because I didn't play that out correctly. I didn't I didn't play that fight well to begin with. I, I kind of deserved to die there, I guess. But I can't help but be like... I will come back. I will come back stronger. Stronger than I ever was. Just you wait. Just you wait. 
Good, the nice big old ocean. Who'd have known? The pillagers better not be there by the time I get all the way back there, because I'm just going to clap them. And then we're getting our stuff, and we're gone. Hey, okay, we're back on path. This is where I fought. Yep, there they are. This is where I fought Tim, Timmy, Timothy, T, Thomas, and Steve, the zombies. Savannah? Please be a Savannah. There's a Savannah. Alright, we're on our way. What if the pillagers are still there? I guess we try and sleep in our bed first. We're going to sneak around them, get in our bed, then fight them to the death. Because then our bed should not be obstructed or whatever the heck. The heck is that? And what did I just run over with my boat? I'm just going to end the episode there. This was a bad one. It's all my fault that it's a bad one. But thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell notification, the actual subscribe button. But I don't know what you do be next. We're just going to have to wait and see. So until next time, take care and enjoy pizza responsibly. Thank you for watching.